I'm a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, and following uh, my stud studies and my semester here at AU, I'm going to uh, Air Force Cyber Officer Training. And not only have I been able to get a great picture of what cyber operations are and how that relates to international relations here at AU, here under Dr. Novotny's guidance, um, I've really learned about all of the ways cyber can affect uh, our world. And I think that's really important with the diverse student body here that AU presents. Not everyone here is in the military. You have people in the public sector, the private sector, people working with nonprofits. Uh, I have friends who have internships in, on the Hill and DHS, and they all bring these incredible, unique perspectives that give you another uh, perspective or way, ways to think about what else is in the world. And I think I'm going to take that and have a broader concept of what I'll be doing in the Air Force uh, that I brought that I learned here at AU. Uh, Emily, uh, uh, after she was accepted um, as a graduate student here, um, was uh, on the um, AU Cyber Eagles team in 2019 yes. and uh, placed fourth out of uh, 50 competitors over 35 universities, so we were very happy about that. It was an incredible experience to be on the team working with students from various backgrounds and they brought experience from international relations perspectives, economics perspectives, uh, federal agencies, law enforcement, all to solve this unique cyber problem that we could see uh, as a potential issue in the future. And the fascinating part was we were able to present our topics, our solutions to this scenario to real policymakers who have the ability to make these decisions in the field. Right. Emily was also um, in uh, at least two of my classes um, yes. and uh, uh, also did a special studies uh, with me on uh, the importance of software development for national security. Uh, looking over the next uh, five to ten years. Uh, very, very interesting study. And American University offered me the opportunity to fit that independent study with my internship at the Pentagon, where I was able to merge the work I was doing outside of my graduate studies into a program that helped uh, get my degree here at EU. There are a number of ways that we can engage students outside the classroom. Uh, we talked about um, the uh, Cyber 912 competition. That is um, always a premier foreign policy event for, uh, for students. But um, in this particular area, if you were to draw a triangle from American University to Columbia, Maryland to Dulles Airport in Virginia, you would find about one third of all of the boutique cybersecurity firms doing both commercial and government work. And so this is really a rich environment for students who want careers in, the, um, in both the public and private sectors. So there's all kinds of opportunities to engage students in that manner. Um, I get calls all the time um, for uh, companies that, uh, and, and government agencies uh, that are uh, recruiting students in this field. I would Learn about the people that you're in classes with. And I mentioned earlier about the diversity of the student body. It is incredible to hear what your fellow students did before coming to American University. Uh, people who've served all over the world, they've maybe taught English uh, in another country. They might have, they might be mid-career professionals with families coming and all of them have a unique perspective to bring to your studies, whether that be USFP or GGPS, you want to do uh, an in-depth country analysis or you want to learn about cyber. Everyone has a perspective and everyone wants to learn more. You come to graduate school to learn more about what you love and you have a passion for a specific topic and you're going to get through these next two years or so with your classmates and you're going to make some great friendships here.